Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In the previous episode, we built this nifty Ratbolt storage slash charging system. We now have the capability of very quickly deliver items to any planetoids that we want. And I figured today I would like to explore space a little bit more. We still haven't done that quite. And I want to go in this direction first because I can reveal quite a bit of question marks. Probably another planetoid or at least a bunch of these ore fields and potentially other points of interest. In order to do that, we're going to take this rocket right here. I I had to pump it out completely in order to get rid of the carbon dioxide. So this isn't really the best solution, but considering this is just our exploration rocket, I might be willing to do that a couple more times until we explored everything with this rocket. So now all we have to do is get a bunch of food inside of this refrigerator, which I think, oh, it's still not powered. Let me check that. Ah, I see. I moved my battery and that's why it's now up here. I should go ahead and connect this. And then yes, we're going to fill this up with a little bit of cooked food, let's say about 20 kilograms should be enough let's check this out just spiced food and then barbecue is good cooked seafood is good fried mushroom probably too we're also taking any muck root and nutrient bars to be honest any omelets will be fine and that should be it though i'm not sure if they actually bring the swamp chart hearts if they are not spiced don't think we can actually spice them but yeah now we have the food the oxygen diffuser can go for it again and as soon as we brought along a little bit of food maybe we can just yeah let's just speed this up i want to go just give this a quick boost there it is. The fridge is full with spiced foods. Wonderful. And we have 44,000 kilocalories. Should be enough for 44 cycles, maybe even more. Actually, definitely more because May is a radiation eater. So without any further ado, let's change the destination to somewhere over here. Let's see. Right here, we can still discover this question mark. So that should be good. The crew is already set. We can begin the launch sequence right away. May should tag along and get things done. And blast off. Yes. Heat this up a little bit. Oh, where are the sound effects? Zoomed out too far. Good. Let's close this off again. Oh, by the way, we should also build the pastel purple here. Build all of this up, please. Thank you very much. Since there's no rocket right now, I should be able to just complete the sets of ladders here to wrap this up. Doors are closing again. Checking out the star map. We're going to take five cycles in order to reach that and of course in that time we're just producing a bunch of data banks and of course we want to unequip the suit okay mate good luck in the meantime i probably also want to launch this guy again let me actually see what else do we need in here we already have the storage bin i added a couple of atmo suits here as well we got enough algae to do a little something we just need a little bit more food that is a little bit strange i should still have plenty of food oh what is this oh yeah I totally forgot to mention I'm now also collecting some of the ingredients such as salt in this container. You know, we've actually figured out something by accident here. To get the food deep frozen, the food itself doesn't even need to be at minus 18 degrees. Take this gristle berry, for instance, which is at 10.9 degrees. Of course, it is going down over time, but it is registered as deep frozen. And that is just because the chlorine inside of it is at least cold enough. So in my opinion, this is even better than having it on a metal tile in order to adapt to the temperature quickly. The metal tile would make the food go down very quickly. But if the food doesn't even have to have that temperature, it's just the gas in there. I don't mind. Now it looks like I'm not efficient enough in cooling this down. Yeah, we definitely have to add some of the aluminium pipes here. Now, since this is a crafting room, I think I'm just going to do the entire row like so. And then this is going to have a much easier time of cooling down. By the way, I also added another trap for the carbon dioxide to go down. It just wasn't efficient enough when I was doing it just on the right side. But now it slowly but surely behaves the way I want it to. You know, I'm a little bit confused. Are these guys here spot? Gristle berry, 20 kilograms. Why can I not deliver this over here? Ah, maybe I disabled the gristle berries. Yeah, okay, that would actually answer my question. Good, let's bring this over here and then Ari can take a stab at one of the new planetoids. Okay, in this case, the rocket here should be ready as well. Let's bring Ari back over. He's been taking care of the second planetoid, but he really doesn't have anything to do. The farm is out of commission because I don't have any fresh water here. But I sent over a little bit of food, which is now just sitting in this fridge. And of course, it's just 
gonna remain okay forever well provided we do keep our battery up to speed but this shouldn't be an issue as long as we don't have any duplicates here so Ari where the heck are you right over here I want you to teleport back to the main planetoid so hop in here please yes he doesn't have a suit equipped interesting okay so I need to remember that there he is I guess I'm gonna allow him his downtime Come on, come on. Yes, enjoy your last meal. Done sleeping, taking a shower. It's time to launch off. I'm going to open up the bunker doors. As for the destination, I would like to get access to the sleet wheat first. That would be absolutely amazing if we manage that. So let's just have a quick look at the planetoid. We need decent protection here. How hot is this going to be? Just, oh, actually, that's going to be fine with an atmosphere probably. So we will be able to just dig our way down here and then kind of explore around here, hopefully find a bunch of sleet wheat. If we find sleet wheat, it would be great to actually bring it back to the main planetoid however it's not going to be below me to actually print it out after a while because i want to get things moving a little bit we cannot just uh, hang around the main planetoid so let's do this we're gonna fly over here oh we actually only had 19 yeah why the heck do i have 19 tiles here it should be 20 oh well it's still gonna be enough begin launch sequence yes and there we go uh or maybe not hold the phone does Ari have the skill? No, of course he doesn't. Yeah, let's give him piloting one at least. I'm not going to dare to go too far for his mental health. And there we go. Okay, wonderful. Something I would like to try out is the Meteor Blaster. Maybe we don't even need this set of bunker tiles. And maybe at some point we can just detect the asteroids and then automatically close the bunker doors and then open them up again. That was another suggestion. But for now, I think I'm just going to set this up right here here oh actually that is gonna need to be standing on something right hmm. yeah actually that limits the use of it again let's maybe just test it out with one meteor shower i want to see how this goes and we're gonna close the doors i guess for the time being right there oh no it requires a blast shot where do i create the blast shots yeah i guess there's gonna be another machine that can create blast shots okay well this is not the topic of today's episode i much rather explore space now a little bit and get access to the Wii Sports. i'm really curious what we can find out here hopefully i'm getting access to rarer materials we also still need to finish the research here with the drill there's just a couple of data banks to go which of course now we are collecting within the rocket explorer right here may already did 24 data banks and she keeps going right now with ari i want to make sure that he's got an atmos suit inside of the dock and i want to enable the building and this is why i brought a couple more atmos suits we don't have the ability to fix it in case it's broken just yet and now we're making our way over here in 1.8 cycles we have arrived and then we are up for an adventure so it's all going to be about discovery in today's episode and hopefully i'm really hoping that i get something decent with these question marks a planetoid is probably actually a little bit too close here i don't really know maybe this was a bad idea to go in that direction these question marks could have been better or maybe even this one i just know to get to the real good stuff we'll have to get to the edges and since this edge is closer to my main planetoid i'm not gonna explore in that direction and just hope for the best with this direction here wait a second do i ah i have two dreamers that look the same okay i did not realize that is a little bit of a bummer i might have to kill one of these guys off <laughs> In the meantime, I guess on the main planetoid, we just keep on working here on the second geothermal power plant. This, you know, can just happen in the background. And also, before I forget, this should all be ceramic, at least as of this point. Right now, it's still sedimentary rock. And then at the very end, we have a joint plate. We are arriving in 0.3 cycles. I do have a little bit of high stress here with Lyra. She should be fine though. I just need to make sure to finish a few things. Like I want to analyze the chlorine gas vent and then I'm gonna reskill her to not be able to do that anymore because everything on this planetoid has been analyzed and we can invest the points in something else. Just to be on the safe side, I installed a massage table if it gets out of hand. But for now, I'm gonna allow her to do all the analysis that needs to be done. And here we go. Oh, oh, we are arriving. Let's check this out. Oh yes, that's going to be quite a decent experience. And landing. Wonderful. Let's get inside briefly. Ari, ah, he's just standing around the wrong place, of course. Totally forgot to make sure he doesn't get too much radiation. But I think once we landed, we can already go ahead and set up something. I figured if we just dig down here, it shouldn't be an issue. Well, it might not be an issue. Ari can dig down 
to obsidian sure yeah so if we just make it down to the obsidian part then i should be able to set up ladders as well let's see where we get if i dig down here i should be oh no i cannot even do the trick here but i might be able to do that and that this way i can still get out if i need to and then we already have access to our first obsidian and some of the radiation should be blocked as we do the digging here so ari please just go to work and of course ari is quite decent at what he's doing but i might actually use may in the future for her radiation absorption capabilities but right now ari here should be fine shouldn't be absorbing any more rats he might get sick a little bit but that's fine okay now let's set up this obsidian ladder i'm probably gonna do this part first here at the bottom since i don't quite have enough materials uh, let me see obsidian we need to dig into here maybe just dig it up okay and as of this point we should be safe i'm gonna keep this piece in place yeah and then we just go further down until we cannot anymore Ooh, actually this goes down deep and here we have even some oxygen wow even a lot of oxygen interesting now ari are you picking up any more rats well still quite quickly actually how is the radiation here 218 it's not like something special radiation blocking yeah we should be blocking quite a bit but here it's still 67 rats a cycle jeez ah look at that we have a little bit of mafic rock so i can make my situation better by maybe doing something like this there we go just block this off a little bit and now we should already be much safer with just 15 rats a cycle okay and now with access to mafic rock this should be much easier we're gonna keep on digging straight down here actually at a certain point let's maybe move over right there and then dig up this part here as well to get some access to decent materials radiation vomiting totally fine that was to be expected you get rid of 20 rats totally worth it in my opinion vomit as often as you like in the meantime we have some asteroids on collision course let's just make sure we have everything closed like this is closed and right now we don't need access to this so i'm just gonna close everything until the meteor showers are over some more radiation vomiting yeah look at that you're getting out with less radiation than you came in also i just noticed now that we are on a different planetoid i might want to set this rocket to not grounded right now i could do this with a sensor so ari is actually using everything inside the sensor to detect that is the star map location sensor we can probably in the end let's see once we come back we build it with cobalt in this place and all we have to connect is the rocket control station and then essentially we can just decide on which planetoid the rocket should be grounded like when we come back home it should be grounded but if we go to another planetoid it should not be grounded ari did a decent job we're back to 30 rats absolutely amazing how about may she has reached her destination almost yeah look at that we have an exploded giant with methane and other gases we have refined carbon here and coal so this here is definitely not going to be another planetoid i don't think they're ever this close to another object lyra is on 81 percent stress she doesn't have have to do a lot more we just need to finish the analysis of this guy and then we're going back into the skill scrubber okay i totally forgot to check on ari he sh uh, is not doing any work wait a second what's happening of course because i messed up the previous night he's now just sleeping on the floor but i guess with 50 stamina you're now good so he can do some more work and in the meantime may arrive she will have to use her telescope a little bit we still have 12 tiles available so i should be able to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah i should be able to go at least one more tile now making my way further down here with ari and it looks like we have some oxalite here what is this the spindly grub root yeah i think i'm just gonna make my way all the way down this looks like a decently long planetoid i didn't expect this there now i can take the explorer go one more tile and i should still be able to make my way back on to another cycle here with Ari. The temperatures are actually fairly decent and we can find some geysers or volcanoes here. It could just be carbon dioxide, but it could also be the sulfur geyser. This is actually way more magma than I anticipated. This is absolutely insane. Not exactly sure how we're gonna deal with it. Yeah, this is an organic mass field. 
and it comes with algae slime and stuff like that which is still interesting so that's a renewable source of dirt and algae and finally at the very bottom we now have access to sleet wheat oh, this is incredible this is not gonna be easy to ship back home because i think it goes bad rather quickly so we're just gonna keep it in place while we explore and maybe first prepare something the sleet wheat is probably gonna go hand in hand here with the hydroponic farm and i would imagine we also want it to be located here now how many are we gonna need that is actually something we first need to calculate but the most important part now is gonna be just to store it somewhere it cannot go bad of course we already have one such storage and that is our food storage so if we bring the sleet wheat here immediately then we should be good we can check whether or not we have access to that by checking the edible and it, once sleet wheat actually pops up here then we have discovered it but first of course we need to kind of break through here and then maybe just get some of this stuff going Alrighty, we're making some good progress here on Inverato. You can see it's basically three different biomes on top of each other. If we have a look around, some of these guys are actually fairly decent. They just have been doing their thing from the beginning or maybe from when we started to explore this planetoid. And right here, we already have 126 sleet wheat grains. There is another 144 right here. So they are fresh 100%. We can take them. I don't know how long they're going to actually stay fresh once we get them into the rocket but it should be for a couple of cycles inside of the fridge to get them safely back home but yeah we've almost explored the entirety of the planetoid and really the only thing interesting are the wheeze warts and the sleet wheat grain here maybe i'm still gonna reveal the geysers and vents just to check out what we can find here where do we have some more i don't even see them but yeah we're just gonna spend a little bit of time on here to do that and get the wheeze warts back home so in the next episode so we can take care of a proper farm in order to combine these two foods into a very nice berry sludge. This is where we are finally going to be using the micro musher. I'm already going to set this up berry sludge. And of course, this will be the point where we don't cook up the gristle berries anymore, but we use the bristle berries to put them right in here. But yeah, until then, I have to make my way back with the explorer one more time. I will want to reveal those two question marks. The problem is just I can really only go up to this point this is already 10 tiles and then we would need a more decent rocket however maybe we can go ahead reveal this question mark at least uh, i don't think this one here is actually possible with the distance i can do with my rocket we might actually have to get even more fuel on board or get a different rocket i really thought geez the the space is really too big if i have to get a late game rocket just to get the full arena, then i'm gonna go nuts but yeah i'll check back on you in just a moment's time when we hopefully get to see a little bit more of what we're dealing with little status report may came back with a whole bunch of data banks so gene is now doing the research we should be able to finish the research here so as of this point we will be able to use the drill cone and actually mine the asteroid fields and then of course the next thing we shall be going for is the rat bolt propulsion i'm really interested in that though i think it's only gonna reach 20 tasks I could be wrong about this. If it reaches 30 tasks, it would be the perfect mining rocket. Either way, we are now refueling the rocket. I think I have the bug where they actually don't bring the oxalite here. So what I have to do is just enable fertilizer and disable it. Or maybe, no, I don't want to disable oxalite. Otherwise, it's going to be expelled. There was a trick on how to get them to do it. Maybe if I just switch these guys, then the errand, no. Let's try it with the upper tank because it has no oxalite inside. Then if I do it, oh, maybe they cannot reach it. Okay. Either way, this is what's happening here on in Verato. let's see we made some progress here too yeah right now i'm making my way up here in order to discover the rest i found another volcano right here but i still haven't found the sulfur one. Oh, it could actually be right here yeah let's go ahead and reveal this as well maybe these two tasks should reveal it and then we're only missing the carbon dioxide vent which i don't really feel the need to search for looking at the map i actually decided to first go into this direction i'm kind of hopeful that one of these is going to be the fullerene or or at least another planetoid. So as soon as the rocket is ready again, we're going to go ahead and do that. Alrighty, I am back and I have really good news for the most part. The bad news is that the sulfur geyser is actually inside the magma. So that is a little bit annoying. The good news is that the sleet wheat inside the fridge is only using two percentages per cycle. So we can easily get those guys back. I already told Ari to bring along all of the seeds. So currently,
currently they are being stored in the storage bin and then the sleet wheat I'm storing inside of the fridge and you can see I have them at various degrees of freshness. Now something he had to constantly deal with was the radiation and I also had to install a manual generator that I built from the copper ore that I found on this planetoid in order to feed the battery because I just couldn't keep up obviously with the gas pump and the oxygen diffusers running but this solved the problem I was then able to charge this completely up it actually stores five times the amount of a normal battery that you can build on the planetoid so this would actually be a really efficient battery storage system just have a plain rocket and then all battery modules they will never overheat and just be there for storage in your system but yeah the even better news instead of finding another planetoid this is actually the asteroid field that I've been looking for so I was really hopeful that it would be within 10 tiles which is why I first wanted to scout this direction here we can actually reach this quite easily and then together with the drill research that we're going to complete very soon we should be able to go ahead and finally collect the fullerene so I'm really glad I went into this direction this saved me about half an hour of another flight definitely taking that I'm going to allow May to research the rest of the tiles and then we're going to fly back in the next episode I should then be able to go ahead and build the third type of rocket our drill rocket and of course in the meantime I've also been making some progress here on the geothermal plant I had to reload the save game once because I made a huge mistake and everything filled up with steam so just as a little side note Right now what I'm doing here is transferring the magma all the way over so that I have the space to build the doors and the contraption here. So this is just going to be a thing that we have to do. I don't want the tiles to overheat just yet. And then hold on, these guys here, they need to be made out of steel. But yeah, you get the basic gist. I'm slowly remodeling this a little bit in order to get where I want to go. Alrighty, I would say with that out of the way, we can happily wrap up the episode. I'm actually really looking forward to this. The lag is slowly kicking in, but it's still capable of handling itself. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I had a little accident here with my solar panels. They heated up because of the regolith. So yeah, in between the episodes, I'm gonna make my way back. Let's maybe see what we can get here. Probably another asteroid field. It cannot be as important. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, one is honestly enough, but dude. Okay, I honestly did not expect that. I wanted to make the episode until I could find the full rain or at least another planetoid, but this is even better. Alrighty, in this case, we have the mission for the next episode, also with Ari. I'm gonna make my way back. Of course, I first want to make sure that we have enough sleet wheat. Right now we have, uh, let me see, about 52 kilograms. There are still some errands. Yeah, no pending deliveries here. So what we should do is maybe dig up one of the sleet wheats here like this one and then we should have some more pending deliveries and with that load I'm gonna make my way back to the main planetoid and then just get the sleet wheat in here and then we can take our sweet time to set up the farm. All right guys let's wrap it up at this point. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye bye.